means of selection is actually using the channels of red, green, or blue to tease out a selection. It doesn't work on all images, but it works on quite a few, and uh, you'd be surprised. If we look at our channels, we have, of course, the RGB composite, but if we look at red, green, and blue, you'll see that some of these actually have separate things for us. The red channel gives me the flower, very nice and cleanly, but the blue gives me the plant. So let's try to go and get the plant. So what I need to do is I can't manipulate these channels individually, so I drag the channel down and I duplicate it. And I manipulate that, because if I manipulate these channels, I'm actually going to change my image, and I don't want to do that. I just want to find a way for selection. So I'm going to pull up curves over here and see if I can get this to release the background just a little bit. Maybe something like so. So now I have a silhouette and I'm going to use my quick selection tool and I want to pull this and hold down the shift key and go around here. So and go and get the insides here and then I'm going to take my selection and I'm going to inverse if it'll let me select inverse and then go into my image and you can see by my marching ants I have a pretty clean selection so that's how I use channels as a means of selection